Medi l-wadden il-bira internazzjonali u ovviment dien li tal mudwar brings differenti, that is differenti, u maħanna il-British short hair. Un l-am jaj u kol l-Katja Lopelenko li ġija minġe wardu seferu to o tresidenti u kol Malta. Thank you Katja for being here with us with this magnificent looking cat. This is the British short hair. Yes, exactly. So, can you tell us about some history about this breed? Well, it's a very old breed and in fact the classic color is blue, so that's how it started. That's why I decided to get a blue one because I wanted to go for a right standard, sort of, because it's much easier than mixed colors. And how about his temperament? Well, as for the features of the cat, it should be a medium-sized cat. Everything should be medium. Ears okay. medium, uh -huh. um, very uh, medium paws, and in uh -huh. fact the legs should be like a drumstick. You know, a bit uh -huh. fat, but short. Okay. The size of the cat should be as well medium. However, they should have very strong front legs mm -hmm. and very broad uh, chest. Mm -hmm. The head should be round, mm -hmm. with very big and uh, round eyes as well. Mm -hmm. And um, how long have you been um, keeping this cat at home? Oh, well, she's only eight months, so eight she's months. still a kitten. She's still a kitten. Yes, <laughs> and in fact, one of the mm -hmm. judges told me yesterday that she's in a transition period between a duckling becoming mm -hmm. a swan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> she will develop well and they'll have a beautiful swan. <laughs> yes, um, what is her name? Her name is uh, quite complicated, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's um, Gimenea Blusham, but at home we call her Milana. Milana. Okay, and do you own other uh, breeds at home? No, no, I don't. Only, just, only yes, hair. Only hair. Only hair. And why did you choose uh, this particular breed? Um, when I used to live in Russia, my mom always had British blue hairs, and uh -huh. not, oh, only, oh, not only blue, yes. And I was, I, I fell in love with the breed, and mm -hmm. I wanted this breed specifically. I couldn't find it in Malta, so mm -hmm. I decided to get it from Russia. And in fact, uh, I got her um, in August. I see. Okay. Um, uh, what about uh, the judging? How did it, uh, how did it go? Oh, so she she did quite well. Mm -hmm. She got best of best in kitten category. She also go, uh, got first uh, in the kitten ring and um, solid color. Ah, that's very good. My yes. compliment. For the first time, uh, for I think the first she time, you did very, very well. Uh, she did very well. Uh -huh. And what about the the judges' comments about her standard? They liked the cat. They said mm -hmm. she has a very good standard. In uh -huh. fact, she got excellent one yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning to breed her later. Uh -huh. So hopefully mm -hmm. we'll have some British blue kittens in Malta. Yeah, that's very good. So you you intend to start a breeding yes. program? Yes. And uh, how are you how are you um, preparing for this um, uh, breeding well, program? Well, I I already started looking for males. Probably mm -hmm. we'll have to go to Italy. Uh -huh. That is the closest where we yes, can uh -huh. go and uh -huh. um, we see how it, how it takes. I do some research and uh, we take it from there. Yes, okay. And do you intend to show her again? Yes, of course, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> and how about uh, the nutrition? Nutrition, well, there is a specific food for British short hair. Ah, yes. Yes, uh, however, it's not available in Malta. Um, I got some from Russia for her because I go there quite often because of my job as well. So I'm taking it from abroad. I'm getting it from abroad, in fact, mm -hmm. for her. I see. And why is it so? Um, it has to be. In fact, the pellets, as you can see them, they're they're bigger, they're larger. Uh -huh. That's because of their strong jaws. It I has see. to be chunky food, sort of. Okay, chunky food. And how is it at home? Oh, she's lovely. She's still a kitten, so uh -huh. she jumps a lot. However, okay. when they mature and they take from two to three years to mature, they become very uh -huh. quiet and um, they don't move much. So it's an easy breed. And uh, as for grooming, you don't really need a lot of things. You just clean her eyes uh -huh. and uh, give her a wash every four to six weeks. I see. And do you use a particular shampoo? Because yes, her, her because is silky. Her, yes, exactly. And because mm -hmm. of her color, I need to use a specific well. shampoo for mm -hmm. blue. Yes. Okay. I, as I can see, she is very inquisitive. Yes, uh -huh. yes, she is. <laughs> like, all, like all kittens. Uh, thank you, Katya, for being here with us, uh, for sharing um, the information about this uh, wonderful kitten you've got. And I wish you all the best of luck um, for um, showing her in the future. Thank you very okay. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot.
Ma non è che non è dell'intervista, ma Katia, o ovviamente, è una delle British, Schwartz è veramente, sa, vi ha anche un po' di veramente, sa, ovviamente, che fa la vita, è importante, non è la sua, ma fa una cosa, 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 